Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the weekly reading for the sign of Gemini. You guys, we are under your full moon right now, okay? So I wanted to check the energies and see how is this full moon of Gemini affecting you all, okay? I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season with their family and friends and you guys made it home safe, okay? Good stuff. Let's get into this. This is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. You already know what to do if love shows up, reverse the world's ass needed. Okay? Gemini, your overall energy is the seven of pentacles. All right? You're doing some reflecting right now, making some plans maybe. Let's see. What's going on with the Gem Gemini Collective this week of November 27, 2023 or whenever they are guided to this channel? Those Geminis that have liked, shared, and subscribed to our channel, thank you so much for your support. And those that are divinely guided to the channel, welcome. Good stuff. We got the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Moon. What this looks like to me is you've gained some clarity about something, which is going to push you on your brand new path. And maybe, maybe to be single, okay? Money's going to be good. You're going to be looking good. Everything's going to be going great, okay? And you may even be moving, okay? Just trying to figure out. What path you you going down with the moon card there? Okay. Good stuff. Look at all these major arcanas. We got two major ar arcanas and the ace of swords. Absolutely wonderful. There's gonna be some big changes going on here. We got Pisces, Cancer, and another Pisces card. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Ten of Cups. All right. Emotional contentment. Good stuff. Ace of Swords and success. Why is the Ace of Swords here for the Gemini Collective? Why is the Ace of Swords here for the Gemini Collective? Why is the Ace of Swords here for the Gemini Collective? They're just getting some clarity. They're going to get a brand new beginning. Are they cutting people off or what? Ace of Swords. Gemini collective. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna be cutting some people off. That's uh Libra energy. Oh, you're gonna be cutting some lovers, lovers off. And you're gonna be balancing yourself. This is your energy, Gemini. And that's what it looks like. It looks like you're gonna be cutting some some lovers off and you're gonna gain some balance in your life. That the good stuff. <laughs> we talking about Gemini's. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mara. <laughs> okay, we got the uh, we got the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Why is this here? Why is this here? The Gemini Collective. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all last ones today. I'm about to lay it down. All right. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Just by seeing energy for the Gemini's. Thank you. Yeah, see, money's going to be good. You're being told to save. Yeah, money's going to be great, actually. This is great money here, all right, because this is a card of wealth. This is a card about money being good and great. This is wealth, so money's about to be great, okay? As soon as you balance yourself, you got to cut something away from yourself. Yeah, you're going to be popular, but you're going to be smart about it. You're going to go with the flow of things, okay? Good stuff. The chariot. Why is this here? Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here for the Gemini Collective? This Cancerian energy. Okay, see? you. I can't make this stuff up. You, I, I thought you were going to actually physically move. But this is a mental change. You're moving away from jumping in and out of people's beds and toxicity. Of alcohol and drugs and womanizing, manizing, just being promiscuous, you are deciding to move away from this. And when we, I'm telling you, when you do it, that's what's going. That's when the money gonna blow up. Cause you're gonna balance yourself instead of just being out here, just all over the place, following your light, then your dark, then your dark, then your light, just going with the flow of things, being living erratic and on the edge. When you stop doing that, Gemini, everything about to work out for you. And that's what it's showing us. You're going to move away from these toxic behaviors. Good stuff. I commend anybody who's doing it. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then look at there. All this is all about success. You're gonna be successful at whatever you and whatever you um, embark on. This is about work. This is success and family and memories. But it's, it's going with this reading. That's success at work. The moon. Why is this here? For the Gemini collective? Why is the moon here? This card of going down a different path, but not knowing all the information of the path of which way it should go. And you're feeling confused and bound. Give us more, please. With that eight of swords. Thank you. Yeah. But you're being told to stop that with the world card. You're feeling like you're bound and stuck to something and it's telling you stop that thinking. Put an end to that. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. And you're going to have to be extra strong to go down this new path in life. Trying to lead. It looks like you're trying to live a clean and sober lifestyle. You're being told that you're going to have to be very strong to get past this hurdle. Okay? Becoming healthier in your body, in your mind. Okay? And that's what, is, that's, that's what this is saying. Okay? Because you feel trapped in your addictions and your behaviors. You're, you're feeling trapped, but you're being told, no, you're not. Stop, stop even saying it. Stop thinking it. You're going to have to be really strong to change your behaviors. Okay? And it's not even just, what is it? It's not even just uh, behaviors. What's the word for it? To change your habits. Because everything is, is a habit. Everything we do is a habit. Whether it's, it's it, even if it's not drinking and drugging, everything you do is a habit. You get up at a certain hour, it's a habit. You go downstairs, you eat, it's a habit. You work out, that's a habit. You decide to go play poker or, or watch a game with, with your people, it's a habit. So if some one of your habits are too out of balance, where it's too much, because everything is about balance. If it's too much out of balance, you just need to balance it out. Nobody said you got to stop. You just need to balance it out, okay? So that you can get this abundance that 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 that, that uh, spirit is telling you that's coming towards you. Once you cut off all the nonsense and balance yourself, I can't make this stuff up. I can't make it up. Your week overall, your overall energy for the week is reflecting on your past and making a plan to move forward. And eliminating things that are toxic to you. I don't know whose energy this is. But you're being told, Gemini, this is your energy. To start going with the flow so that you can start healing yourself. Can't make it up. Can't make that up. Y'all, the last ones, I'm going to go over here to, and this is the first time I brought this deck out today. African Goddess Rising for the Gemini energy in this reading. Do you have a message for this Gemini? For these Gemini's, this Gemini and this, and this energy and this reading, do you have any messages for the Gemini's? Thank you. talks about living out loud. I don't know why I keep coming in this room without my glasses on. Let me see. Satira's guidance. <clears throat> Let me see if I can see this here. Step up and go for it. Partner with a uh, divine to make brazen choices and everything meant to diminish you will elevate you. All who mean you harm fall away. Your hurdles are illusions. 
because you are plugged into the source. Okay. The embodiment. Make the brazen decision. What would you dare to do if you knew you couldn't fail? That's what this reading is about. It is brazen to be unapologetically you. It is brazen to speak up for someone not in the room. It is brazen to choose a different spiritual path or career than your, than your community. It is brazen to build your family your way. God, goddesses, force, energy is brazen. The goddess declaration, I am bold, brave, shameless, and brazen. Say it with me, Gemini. I am bold, brave, shameless, and brazen. Good stuff. Now, this sacred lust, I'm going to read this one just because it's probably a message in there for you, just like brazen was. Good stuff. I like that brazen card. Okay, this is Goddess Katesh. Katesh's Guidance. Okay. It says, you are, you are, you are, <laughs> okay, you are an erotic creature. You have a divine right to experience sensual ecstasy. It is sacred to give and receive pleasure, okay? Embodiment. You deserve to feel good. It feels good to feel good. So allow yourself to feel good. You, darling, you daring to embrace your sensuality will set the world on fire. I'm sorry, I jumped all the way to the other <laughs> paragraph. Hold on a second, child. You desire to feel good. It feels good to, to feel good. So allow yourself to feel good and lean into your sacred lust. Okay? Turn up your own fire and quench your thirst. Dance with pleasure. Dance with pleasure, and you daring to embrace your sensuality will set the world on fire. Okay, you daring to embrace your sensuality. Okay, Goddess de Declaration. It feels good to feel good. <laughs> How is this <laughs> talking about this? I don't understand. Why would this be talking about that when it's saying that it's telling you right in the tarot to get away from toxic behaviors like that, just having sex with people? Why would... African goddess rising and put that card out for you. I don't know. You know your life. And you know what's going on here. And if that if this message is for you, then you know what it's about. Ask your question, Gemini. Any answers for the Gemini collector? Mm -hmm. My head is hurt. I'm trying to see that dang old book. I'm gonna have to really bring my glasses in here. Ooh. Any answers for the Gemini collector? from now you know what you asked okay and abundance let me look at that card again I never seen all them people on that card maybe I didn't pay attention but I sure seen it today see I don't know what that means but I seen all them people you'll know what it means for your life Okay, thank you so much. If you took anything from this reading, Gemini's, like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys for your next reading. All right, good luck with this. Who, whoever reading this is, good luck with this. You got it, you got this. Okay, you guys take care.